hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well i'm back with another makeup tutorial and this one is particularly inspired by the fenty beauty moroccan spice eyeshadow palette now i don't own the palette but i already have these colors in my other makeup palette so i decided to experiment and see what i come up with i hope you like it So I've done my base which is foundation, concealer and the rest of that. I am now going to start the eyes by applying a transition shade into my crease area. I blend that um, back and forth until it's really smooth. I use a, an eyeshadow blending brush for this. After I see that the transition shade is fully blended, some concealer just to give um, my other eyeshadows a base to sit on, I then start applying the gold and orange shades. Uh, my, car my camera went off at some point so I didn't catch the beginning of this eye but as you can see I've applied a lighter gold shade in my inner corner and then a more orangey shade right on the center of my lids and um at the outer edge of my at the outer edge of my eyes i'm going in with a dark very very dark green blackish color just to create dimension around the outer edge of my eyes i'm going to be blending this dark color into my transition shade just to give a um a more seamless shape to smooth that out, I'll be using my transition color um, just to top up and smoothen out the dark green shade. Now I'm going to move to the other eye. Here you can see um, more of the process. So I start out by applying a light gold shadow in my inner corner and then I'm going to smooth that out. I do like a patting motion so that I don't um, move the concealer that I've put underneath. So I'm just going to pat that color and then I'll um, follow that closely with the orangey. Actually, it's more like a rose gold shade. So I'm just going to pack in that color right on my lid. By the way, guys, I'm sorry if I sound weird. I have a very terrible cold and I've been fighting it for days, but it's not going anywhere. So I apologize for the terrible audio. Yeah. Then start working in the darker green color into the outer edge of my eye, the outer V of my eyes. I'm blending it into my transition area. Like I said before, I normally go back in with my transition shade to give a more smoother blend. Um, and that's it for the upper eye, really. So I just go in with a small eyeshadow brush and I brush on the dark green shadow along my bottom lash line. This will tie up the entire eyes so that I don't look weird. So I'm just going to do this with a small eyeshadow brush until my entire bottom lid is covered. I went a little bold in this look because I mean, I don't usually do my bottom lashes this heavy, but I think it works for this look. I'm going to follow that up. Um, with the with my eyeliner, so I'm using my regular. This is like my normal thing. So I just line my eyes with the liquid eyeliner and apply some mascara. I really like this look 
and um, as you can see it's a very flattering one almost anybody can wear these colors so you don't really have to buy all the new releases that all these makeup brands are bringing out if you already have these colors in your makeup stash then just use what you already have you don't need to buy every single thing that comes out okay and um, i hope you like this video please like this video click the like button subscribe to my channel tell your friends to subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so that you can know when i um, post other videos i hope to see you guys here on my channel soon thank you so much for watching bye